legislation through the upper house. Now back to this massive loss announced by Qantas for the 2013-14 financial year. This news has just come through within the last hour or so. A statutory loss after tax of $2.8 billion. The Qantas CEO has described it as confronting but he says things are turning around pretty dramatically and he's predicting an underlying profit before tax in the first half of this financial year with the caveat subject to factors outside our control. Now Alan Joyce is due to step up for a statement and media conference in about uh, five minutes time, just over five minutes time, it's a live show you can see there from Sydney. So we'll be going there live just as soon as that begins. But we have been given a copy of his speech and I'll just go to a few of the elements in that speech now. So he says this, uh, this loss reflects the costs associated with the $2 billion Qantas transformation program, which is seeing uh, the loss of 5,000 jobs um, and early aircraft retirement. And there's also a non-cash write down of $2.6 billion to the value of the Qantas International fleet following the structural review. Um, as I said, he says the numbers are confronting, but they represent the year that is past. And uh, Alan Joyce says we've now come through the worst. And as I said, he's uh, predicting, that he says that Qantas Group expects to deliver an underlying profit before tax in the first half of the year, subject to those factors outside our control. And just going to a few of the elements of this statement today, this, as I mentioned before, this accelerated transformation program, that's this uh, uh, program where they're losing 5,000 jobs. He says uh, those measures announced in February have led to significant redundancies, of which 2,500 have already taken place. By the end of the full year 2015, 4,000 of the 5,000 redundancies will have occurred, and the 5,000 redundancies will conclude that period of major jobs job reductions. Uh, in terms of asset sales, there'd been a bit of uh, speculation about possible asset sales, including uh, the Melbourne and Sydney terminals. Uh, Alan Joyce says uh, the company will continue to assess opportunities where they will lead to enhanced shareholder value. Uh, there was also talk about the Qantas loyalty program. And uh, Alan Joyce says, after careful consideration, the judgment was that Qantas loyalty continued to offer major profitable growth opportunities and there was insufficient justification for a partial sale. Jetstar in Asia has been a controversial element of the Alan Joyce plan for Qantas over the past five years or so. Um, and Alan Joyce is sticking by that, saying that uh, we continue to believe in the world's fastest grow via growing aviation market. Um, and that continues to be a major long-term opportunity. And uh, another of the elements that there's been a lot of talk about in the run-up to this announcement today was the uh, possibility of stru structural separation with the international and the domestic arms of Qantas. And uh, Alan Joyce says, since 2012, in order to strengthen accountability and performance, we've reported the Qantas International and domestic businesses as separate segments. The Australian Parliament recently decided to soften the foreign ownership restrictions in the Qantas Act. Um, and here's the, uh, the statement on this. As a consequence of that decision, we have decided to create a new holding structure and corporate entity for Qantas International. So there'll be a lot of talk about that over the uh, coming days. So uh, the, uh, they are splitting up Qantas domestic and international. Uh, so Qantas uh, CEO Alan Joyce due to step up in the next five minutes or so and we'll cross their line.